This is gonna be a beautiful boat, I can already tell. Lots of options for head sails. Wow, 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 guys. A giant separate shower. I think there even might be, yep, and there is. There's engine access through the big shower here. What's up guys, I'm back from a family vacation with a tour of a Passport 54.5 for y'all. This is an amazing cruising vessel that speaks for itself. Remember to like and subscribe, that's the best way you can support these videos, so thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right guys, I just stepped aboard and wow. This is gonna be a beautiful boat, I can already tell. But we're gonna go ahead and go forward first. We got a big old center cockpit cruiser here. I love it. Moving forward, nice wide side decks, really long Genoa track right there. Really high lifelines as well, nice and safe. Handrails going forward. No obstructions on the side deck right here. Inboard shrouds that are gonna be easy to walk around. Plenty of ventilation, door aids and hatches. A semi-hard dodger, but we're gonna get back to that soon. We've got the mast right here. In mast furling main, there's the boom. Looking up the rig, it's gonna be a triple spreader main mast with a radar up there going forward i like these port lights they don't stick out at all so there's you know nothing to hit your toes on there that's awesome lots of stainless antique on this boat self tacking jib right here all the lines leading back to the cockpit very nice the deck teak stainless everything very well maintained. We've got twin head sails, room for a Genoa and a jib. And there's also another chain plate right there. It looks like for maybe a storm staysail. So you've got lots of options for head sails. You've already got two on the boat and then you've got potential for even another one. So that's awesome. Big stainless double bow roller off the front. There's a dolphin seat up there on the bow. Very nice. And a chain locker. You got some storage and then your anchor chain right up there. Decent sized bow locker up here. Gonna walk forward and give you guys a view aft. This is a gorgeous model haul. If you know sailboats, you know Passport makes a top of the line vessel. Continuing aft. Two more door aids up there on the coach roof. Another hatch right there for light and for ventilation. There is a hard windshield right there and then a dodger above that. So really, really nice. And then a bimini over all of that. So lots of protection. And then we're at the cockpit, but we're gonna continue aft to the aft deck and we're gonna come back to the cockpit. Now you guys know I love center cockpits. And this is one of the reasons why. Look at all this space. You've got an arch off the back with your dinghy. You could put solar up there. You could also do some fishing off the back. Once the dinghy's in the water, you can easily get on and off the dinghy from the sugar scoop transom down there and the swim platform. So easy in and out of the water right off the back. You just walk right off the back, just like that, once you open up these lifelines here. So the back stay is split, so it doesn't take up the middle of the boat. So it's really nice you know you've got lots of space back here lots of room for lounging lots of room as well for mounting equipment on that arch I like it you've got your water wash downs right there half deck lockers back here so lots of storage space looking forward there's two more door aids and another hatch that's going to be above the aft cabin. Another reason why I love center cockpits. So here is the center cockpit. So to get in, all you got to do is step up right here. And you've got a nice T-shaped 
center cockpit it's going to be easy to get around that wheel and you've got lots of room for lounging and sailing the boat when you're at sea so here's the helm station right here you can steer from where i'm standing right here and see forward or you can sit on the combing and steer with one hand and look over the side of the boat so that's really nice the main is sheeted just aft of the helm station right there so it's easily within reach you've got the winch for that right there and then your genoa slash jib primary winches on each side they are electric and then you've got two more winches one being electric forward of that so sailing this boat should hopefully be a breeze so you've got 360 degree views obviously the windshield is covered right now but really good visibility all the way around from the helm station just super comfortable super protected very nice looking back down at the cockpit because this is an aft cockpit walk through boat there are no storage compartments in the cockpit but what she lacks right here she's going to make up for down below and you guys will see that very soon and then we've got more instruments right here right above the companionway and let's let's go down below wow 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 guys everything shines I think I'm in love. This is a beautiful, beautiful boat. As you guys can tell. Let's go ahead and go forward first and see what we got. So we're gonna start up here in the forward cabin. I don't know if I'd call this a V-berth I think I want to call it a forward cabin because it's feeling like a full cabin to me. It's very, very nice. So there's a full double island berth right here. Beautiful woodwork throughout, storage all around. And then this is interesting. The sink for the forward head is actually in the cabin. So if someone's, you know, using the head, <laughs> Someone else could use the sink, I guess, as a vanity. Up here in the forward cabin, there's a hanging locker up here. That door closes. This door to the head is on a slider, so that also closes. So you can access the head from inside or outside the cabin, which is very nice. You can give your guests some extra privacy. And there's the head, and then there is a separate shower. It's currently being used as storage. You guys get the picture very nice and then there's the head door so overall there's three doors in this little space right here and they all fit which you know it's expert level design right there there's a little bar area just aft of the forward cabin with lots of storage and then what looks to be an ice maker and then the starboard main settee up here beautiful comfortable storage down below it over to the port side a really nice u-shaped main eating area and settee and then a big tv for a boat mounted up there converts down to a berth naturally all of these floor panels open up quite easily so you can get access to the tanks and equipment that's down below and that cabin sole is just in beautiful shape everything is so shiny so shiny. Love it. Looking aft. It just keeps getting better. So we came down that ladder right there. And then directly to port of the ladder of the companionway stairs there is a forward facing nav station. Now this is going to be what I like to call the office or the heart of the boat in my opinion. I love a proper nav station and this is definitely a proper nav station. So very nice. After that, there is a washer dryer. Very, very cool. This boat, this boat really has it all to live aboard full time in comfort and style. Look at this.
distribution panels. I would throw another screen right here with the camera that's on the mast so I can see forward while we were sailing. But that's the only thing I'd change. Looking aft, you guys can see there's the aft head is right there, but we're gonna actually we're gonna go through the galley. And just little touches I want to mention. Look at how there's a counter on each side of the settee here. That's just a you know, it's a small thing, but it's something that makes this boat just that much more comfortable because you can sit here and put your drinks up there on the side. You know, it's just a little thing like that that a lot of sailboats don't have or don't think about. So very fine attention to detail all around. And look at this, hand holds, hand holds. Everywhere you go, there's something to hold on to. Bose sound system. I feel like I have a little bit of ADD in this boat because everywhere I look is something cool to point out. Let's take a look at the galley now. So we've got a long galley style galley. Tons of cold storage right there. Trash on a slider. Gimbaled stove and oven. Sink. Plenty, plenty, plenty of storage. The engine is actually going to be down below this right here. You can access it from this panel, and there's a couple more access panels that I'll show you in a little bit. Continuing aft, there's more cold storage. Down below the counter on this side. I like that this boat has top loading fridges and freezers. So you know that if you're at sea, when you open up the fridge or freezer, stuff's not just gonna go flying out. They thought of everything on this boat. It is definitely a proper top of the line cruiser, full pantry, and then even more. So just looking at that galley, it's a huge, huge galley. And again, a proper sailboat galley where you can brace depending on which heel angle you're on. You can hold on to, you know, the handle that's right here. It's awesome. And then finally, we are at the aft cabin, which the aft cabin has a full beam. It looks like basically a king size island berth back here and storage all around. Hanging lockers on both sides. Storage down below the berth. So nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I could definitely see myself and my family enjoying a boat like this. And then finally, we come to the ensuite aft head. So we've got a sink and a head in this section right here. Very nice. And if you keep walking, a giant separate shower right here. And then again, if you keep walking, you're now in the main salon. So part of why I really like that setup is the fact that you can, you can go all the way around all the way through, regardless. You can go all the way around. You can circumnavigate this, this center section right here. So if someone's cooking in the galley, you don't need to squeeze by them. You could actually just go through the head if you wanted to get to the aft cabin there. But also, also, the shower location being right there, so close to the companionway steps. Hear me out. If you're coming in wet with offshore gear on, you can go right into that shower. So you can minimize the amount of water that gets through the boat. It's really only gonna get like, you know, a few feet, This just this area right here. So that's a lot easier to clean up from getting wet and going right into the shower than, you know, if you had to go all the way through the boat. So I like that shower location being right near the, the companionway for that reason as well. It can also serve as a big wet locker. So this is really cool. I was wondering what these hooks were 
that were in the in the ceiling there and well I have my answer <laughs> so as you can see the stairs fold up and they hang on those hooks there so that you can access the engine that's down below here so there's your engine access that is down there and it looks super clean very nice just I don't think I've seen that yet I don't think I've seen engine access quite like like this yet so that's kind of interesting there's also engine access here on the side lots of different spots and I think I think there even might be yep and there is there's engine access through the big shower here so you know engine and generator access so that's beautiful you know beautiful beautiful access and then you're gonna access you know all of your equipment as well your filters look at that your valves your stuff in box right there this is amazing so access to your engine and equipment on a boat like this really couldn't be better I think lastly there's some access to the generator back here as well this is in the aft cabin so so nice going back out through the galley all right guys it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern All right, guys, that was a beautiful, beautiful top of the line cruising monohull. I absolutely loved that boat. And to be honest, I don't really have any criticisms about it. I just loved the design so much. 
I loved the beauty of the interior, the quality of the craftsmanship. Passport makes really, really nice boats. I think for a 54 foot center cockpit cruiser, this, you know, this design is pretty much it's it's there. I mean, this is this is this is the best. You know, you've got a practical center cockpit, an open aft deck, a safe and clutter-free foredeck. I guess maybe that's my one criticism is it's not a flush foredeck, but that's nitpicking. Down below, the layout just really makes sense with its big two cabin, two head layout. Maybe that's another little criticism that I might have is with a boat this size, I probably would have liked to seen a third small cabin for children or guests. But I mean, again, this is just a beautiful, beautiful cruiser built for, you know, a cruising couple or a small family. And, you know, it's built to go anywhere. It's built to take you safely there. And it's built to do it in style and in comfort. And it's, it's really awesome and it's apparent. I think she basically speaks for herself. I'm a fan, definitely a fan of passports. This boat honestly reminds me a lot of a Hylas, as you guys know, you know, I love those boats as well. So again, just a really, really solid cruiser and I think she speaks for herself. So, you know, with that, the current asking price is gonna be down in the description below as well as the broker contact information. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong.